curious to see what we have for collectibles. So it looks like we have morphing objects and photo fragments, special items. Okay, I don't know what those might be. Any thoughts on what I need to do now? I've got myself a magnet, toolbox, and a fluorescent bulb. I don't think I can use any of this stuff. No. Nope. Let's find out what the game tells us to do. Oh, apparently over here somewhere. This doesn't make any sense. It's chained to the... What's chained? Oh, it's chained to the radiator. You think the magnet will work? I'll try that. Oh, I didn't even know there was something in there. <laughs> Oops. Anyways, now we're doing it. Yay, thanks for helping on that one. Now, where was the panel that needed to be? Aha. Now we're in business. You totally called it. I just got back from a business trip, so I haven't had a chance to do much uh, new recording, so I won't get to Nancy Drew for a little bit, or for The Sims 3, uh, but it should be, I'm going to try and get some more done this week, or weekend, because I have to go back on another business trip next week, so stay tuned, there'll be more Nancy Drew, it's coming. So I now have put myself, oh I see I need another fluorescent light bulb. Yeah, we totally used the screwdriver. Okay, so we have to figure out what's the... You know what, the creaky doors in the background and like... It's very unsettling, all this background noise. I don't know if I'm going to be getting a Coco Kringle bar. I honestly feel like I'm going to be sad if I don't. With everybody posting on Twitter all their Coco Kringle bars, I'm kind of sad. I don't even know. I would like to have a Coco Kringle bar, but who knows. Alright, let's put this here. No, let's put it over here. Gypsum! So glad that somebody had the smarts to write it right on the bag. We can put some gypsum in here. Yeah, for everyone that pre-ordered the I shouldn't say everyone. For the first 500 people that pre-ordered the next Nancy Drew game, Sea of Darkness, uh, her interactive is sending Coco Kringle bars to them. So yeah, they're uh, in luck, I guess. Okay, so why do I need this... Uh, why do I need some wet plaster? I don't know if they'll actually do that. I don't know if they'll... Just because I asked for one, if they'll send me one. I guess, you know, if you don't ask, you don't get, right? Alright, now we have ourselves a... Hex... Wrench here. Yeah, they are chocolate. That's indeed the... They're real chocolate. They're like limited edition. They're not regularly available. Alright, we've got our fluorescent bulb here. Oh, it's a mosaic. Slidey one. Yay! Okay, not that much yay, but... Let's put this all together now. Okay, let's see. I'm so good at getting the first couple, and then I have struggles. The struggle is real here. Yeah, these are not my favorite kind of puzzles. That is for sure. <laughs> I want a screwdriver and I want to go pop 
And I want to manually put them where they belong, and then we're all good. <laughs> oh, definitely not the best way to start the game. And you know what's funny is, when I played the beta, I'm fairly certain I did this puzzle extremely quickly. So, there you have it, right? There you have it. <laughs> I just got one more piece left. Well, am I gonna actually go through the effort of getting this thing all the way over here? I don't know. Oh, there you go. I got it. Yay! Wait. Oh, for a second there I thought I didn't get it. My dear detective, I hate to be the one to break this to you, but that bumbling professor isn't as innocent as he claims. He wasn't lying when he said he gave his time and money to those experimental projects. But did he mention those projects were illegal? What if I told you that innocent people suffered because of one? Which leads me to my next question. Which project do I speak of? Think carefully before you answer. Lives depend on it. He's trying to turn me against Reynolds, but why? What's his agenda? Oh no! I'm actually quite happy with that. I ended up getting that puzzle solved, even though I was tempted to skip it. This courtyard's been converted into some kind of creepy obstacle course. The music's definitely gotten a little louder. Oh, we've got lightning going on up there. Everything is just out of control. Unlabeled chemicals. That's a bad, bad thing to do. I don't know if this will work. Let's try it. No? Okay. So what else do we have here that we can do? I'll take that. It's rusted in place. Oh, wow. There... Very quietly, there was like this sort of creepy. Ha, 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 ha. You're going to Berlin tomorrow? Oh, I'm jealous. I've only ever been to. Uh, well, I flew into Frankfurt on that side of uh, Germany. I guess the west side. And I've been to Aachen, and where else have I been? A few other places. I've been to Cologne as well. Some other smaller towns on the west side of Germany. Uh, wait, there's gotta be some morphing objects, correct? I think? Or should we just continue with our adventure? Something, oh yeah, so that's that there. I don't think I have the ability to do that. Let's just go inside here. Whoa, creepy. Oh, it's a guillotine. Oh my goodness. That can't be good. Whatever are we going to do now? <laughs> Yikes. So. Uh, let's look at our map. I want to see what's going on here. Looks like we definitely have something to do here. Okay. So I've got screwdriver, a broom, toggle switch and a magnet. Oh, a toggle switch can go there. Oh, what's this? Another handle and another... Oh, that's not another thing. That's just some paper. Let's do this. Let's go and put that on there and find out what's in there. Yeah, it'd be cool if we were the bad guy. That would be kind of a twist, wouldn't it? It's a big story twist at the end. This paper smells faintly like chemicals. Was something written in invisible ink? Maybe, maybe not. Ask me a question, folks. There we go. Oh no, it looks like the door to the game room, but it's locked. It's locked. Very thorough planning to have this all organized. Like, look at the barbed wire up here, too, as well. Like, this is kind of crazy. So we still got something going on here. I wonder if this will work. Secret liquid. Go. Ooh, 
we're making something cool. We're gonna go over here in this chemical area and make something interesting. We're gonna carve that plastic bottle up. Uh, what else are we gonna do? We're gonna take that, put that there. We gotta tape the bottle up so we don't uh, put that in there. And what else can we do? Put the red stuff in? Sure, why not? I say it's locked a lot of times. I know. Come on, folks. Where is that from? You must know where that reference is from. I don't think I have. I don't have this thing. This squirty thing, whatever that thing's called. Yes, it is an HG reference. Oh, maybe there it is. Uh, how do I... I can't... <laughs> oh, there we go. Nancy Drew. Look at all you folks to chat. You all know Nancy Drew, don't ya? I will give you a bit of a uh, spoiler for all you folks that are watching live. When the next Nancy Drew game does uh, come out, I will be recording it, of course. I'll record it blind by myself. And then I'm going to live stream it for my second playthrough. So you guys will be able to uh, watch me and help me out on the second playthrough. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Anti-rust spray. I had a lot of fun with doing that for the uh, 31st Nancy Drew game. Absolutely, have Esther come for that. Experiment! It has failed! Oh no! The chain isn't long enough to operate. What do we have here? I need something to shoot! <laughs> okay. Game room key! I uh, hope that's a great question. You know what, I'll... I don't know what you think would work better. My gut feeling is that I would do Junior on the first playthrough and then maybe for the live playthrough do senior. You think that would work? Well, let's go to the game room. There could be some clues in here. But I better be careful. Ooh, the statue is missing something. Oh, there's a mask there, folks. The switch is ripped out. Hello, cheap mask. I would prefer if we didn't have any spoilers in the chat. Okay, so we've got to deal with something here. We need a fuse. Uh, I don't need more water. I need less. It's time to pull the plug. Can I get in here and do this? Yes, I can. I need my rubber gloves for sure. I don't know if there are graphic novels for for Nancy Drew, but there are obviously, like, novels. Whoa, maybe that gas is making me hallucinate too. Oh no, it's getting all excitable now. Not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Maybe this? Nope. Yeah, chapter books, that's what you would say. I used to read Hardy Boys all the time, but I never actually did get a chance to read any Nancy Drew. That's not true. I've read some, like, sample chapters, I guess, is the way to describe it. Okay, what exactly am I doing here, game? Let's have a look at our map. What does the star mean? No current task. Okay. Ooh. Maybe we can do this? No, we cannot. It's hanging on by thread. I bet I could knock it down pretty easily. Why won't the broom work? I don't know. No, I haven't read the classic ones. I don't know how I could never have read any Nancy Drew. You have to appreciate the fact that... Ooh, morphing object. I didn't get into Nancy Drew until, what, two years ago? So I never really had a lot of Nancy Drew experience. My first Nancy Drew experience was with, um, 
What was that one? What game was that? I want to say number 28? But yeah, I think it was uh, a couple years ago. Oh, is, oh, so May 8th will be three years? Okay, so there you go. What was the, that game that I... Yes, the Ghost of Thornton Hall. That's right, Alex. That's right. That was my very first Nancy Drew experience. So that kind of, you know... I haven't had a lot of time to, to deal with that sort of Nancy Drew thing. Wait, what's going on up here? What's with all these creepy TVs? So, what exactly am I doing here, game? I know I have to do something in here. Well, I'm old enough to be an uncle, that's for sure. So maybe the broom will help? No. A magnet? Oh, maybe the magnet goes over here? There we go. Whatever that is. Oh, maybe we can shoot that. Well, let's go. We're gonna fire that up here at the dummy here. Ooh, it's action-y. And go. Go. Ha <laughs> ha We gotta keep shooting. And again. One more time for good luck. That was a bullseye right there. Yay! My, my. Whatever did you find? Oh. Don't let me distract you. Continue. Can anyone hear me? Help! Oh no! What do we have here? We've got glass. Let's broom it up. Let's see, we've got this swan thing. Ooh. Find all of the items shown below. This is neat. I like this. This looks pretty cool. But Elephant Games, they are always uh, good at their graphical fidelity, like, I always find these games look fantastic. I don't know if they have, like, my favorite kind of puzzles, but their art is definitely up there with my all-time favorite. Okay, so what do we want here? We want some skizzers. Looks like we want this plug. That spinny top thing. That's a good question. When did I get into playing these kinds of games? I think my very first moment where I truly started to get hooked on these was with uh, Mystery Case Files Dire Grove. So I don't know, I don't remember when that came out, but that was kind of my first hidden object puzzle adventure game that made me go, wow, these games have got story and they've got. It just, it hooked me. I never really enjoyed kind of the old school ones where it was just basically flat pictures with a bunch of buried stuff in it. I like the ones that had, you know, more of the adventure elements to it. I would say that's my favorite of all time. So now I have this triangle thing. Let's go ahead and put that here. And now I've got myself some bolt cutters. We have to go back and find out where we have to cut the bolt here. Uh, where was that? Oh yeah, back here. Let's see. And now I've got myself something that I can put on the end of the broom, apparently. <laughs> okay, that's a tool handle, is it? Now I have a hook. It's a boat hook. Uh, let's see here. What do I need a boat hook for? Maybe I can reach in here, maybe? No. The sink, okay. I'll... Oh wow, check out that painting! Oh my goodness! What could Professor Reynolds have done to deserve this? Look at all the blood! Yikes! Oh no, that doesn't go there. A different kind of statue. We're gonna try this in here? Sure we are. Uh, what do we got? I don't even know. Oh, I'm gonna take this apart, am I? 
And now I have a chain. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, one out of two. Oh. Hmm. So how do I deal with this? The switch has been ripped out. The music kind of goes really quickly and then it slows down. I don't even think that this is going to go in here, I don't think. Nope, 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 nope. I still can't get through there because of the old guillotine. Which is scary. Scary. So what did I want to do here? Oh wow, there's some chain here I didn't pick up from before. Yeah. Well, let's put that chain in there. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Oh boy. I always have... I find these ones challenging. Wait, I should find out what I'm trying to do here. Drag the circles along the left bar so that the circles on the right appear fully. 